The empty wire frame on Paul Coddington's lawn is a reminder that someone temporarily took away his freedom of speech. Suddenly one night we all went to bed and the next morning they were all gone. Last week, nearly a dozen no on eight signs disappeared in Vallejo on Via Vista Avenue and the surrounding streets. It's a personal issue for Coddington, who recently married his partner. Everyone's worried that there may be some people here who are ready to do bad things. Coddington's neighbor, Leonard Creek, was writing a letter to the editor supporting the measure to ban gay marriage when we stopped to talk to him. For some people, it's even more important than the presidential election. Yeah, and I think it is because I have it. I think over time it'll have a more uh, effect on society. He has two signs in his front yard. In other parts of Vallejo, yes, signs have been taken, but not his. So, were you then surprised at all that lawn signs, campaign yeah. signs, would be taken? No, I. In fact, I. I. You know, I'm not surprised at all. And I. Yeah, that's just lack of respect of the people these days. Some people are bringing their signs inside at night so they don't get stolen. Other people are posting them inside their windows. McCain and Obama signs were untouched, highlighting the nerve this issue strikes with voters. But they agree, leave the signs alone. I think it should, uh, it's next to breaking the law. Disagree with me, but disagree with me at the polls. Go ahead and vote against me, and I'll vote against you, and we'll see who wins. And just in case there's another rash of stolen signs, Coddington says he's ordered more.